You don't think you're a fighter, but I know you are. And you are a liar, if you say you are. You don't think that you're worth it, but I think you're wrong. And I think you're perfect, the way that you are. Tired from the pressure I put on myself for years. Tired from my 20s, the whiskey bottles and beers. Tired of smiling while I've been holding back tears. But I believe I can do it, so I'm here. just adjust this. I know sudden Batman Cup was sudden. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to adjust here. Uh, that angle looked great for the uh, shuffle, but uh, for the reading, not so much. Let's see if I can turn just a little bit. Oh, what help I kind of loosen that first, right? There we go. Okay. So, good afternoon. Uh, yes, I know it's Wednesday, and normally I do these on Thursday. However, it looks like the schedule has kind of leveled out again, so in addition to my Saturdays off, i got my Wednesdays again for the foreseeable future. We don't know what the future holds, at least in work. My cards won't even tell me. <laughs> the, the scheduling is unpredictable, so we're going back to this weekly reading Wednesday, and I hope you're having a good Wednesday. <sighs> Also, while I'm setting up, I know that you heard the music in the intro there that I put into the, uh, in, that I put in. I did the random card shuffling again, mainly because I think that's the message that we're going to be getting. I don't know why, but on the way home from picking uh, this book up, picked up the new edition of Basic Fantasy in hardcover and gonna say this I think uh, I think Amazon did better with the uh, quality in third edition probably should have ordered these from Lulu they're they're good books though in any case I was coming home I was listening to some music and then the urge hit me to listen to one song in particular so I took that song I clipped it and I put it in the intro now if for some reason YouTube tries to copyright strike that The artist, Tom McDonald, did say during one of his live streams that we were fully allowed to use his music, you know, and of course credit him. And I've got links below to the video and to the uh, link where you can get your own copy of the CDs because you cannot find these on Spotify. So, get copies. They're really, really good CDs, I think. Anyway... I think that's what we're going to be, that's what our focus is going to be today. Fighters. Us. You. Me. Everyone watching right now. Because we're all going through some tough times. And let me tell you something. I'm well aware that we are going through tough times. That's why I haven't increased the, the prices, or the price thresholds on uh, private readings. Instead, I've just increased the readings. So if you give me something 35 and under, you know, I'll give you I'll give you five readings and a birthday reading. And if you give me something anything over that, <clears throat> I do seven readings and a birthday reading. So a total of six and a total of eight. How's that? All right. Now any anything really out there, I'm gonna start. I'm, I'm gonna come up and talk to you. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna try to get you a little more than a little more bang for your buck. And yes, you can take those readings. You can give them to you can give them to someone else. So if you've got like five readings, you could do a, you could have me do a reading for you and then four other people. Totally your choice. They're your readings. It's like a little gift exchange. Now, of course, if you don't want to do that, you can't afford to do that. That is fine. That is hunky dory. I totally understand. I hope you'll enjoy this free content instead. And I hope this little message, which is more like a uh, I don't know who needs to hear this, but. 
I hope you get something out of it. That's it. All right. Cost me nothing but time to do this, so that's what I'm going to do. I do it every week. I do it because I love it. There are some weeks where I can't bring you a reading, and guess what? Let me tell you, those are the readings I kind of. Those are the uh, weeks I kind of dread because I'm like, Phew. I rather enjoy doing these. So. By the way, if you've been following me on social media, links in the link tray down below, you'll know that uh, I have been <laughs> recruited by the Illuminati. I have not joined. That website I found has only been around since like 2014, so I'm pretty sure it's just another multi-level marketing scam. But according to the agent who was trying to recruit me, I'm a very important personality, don't you know? And so, as a very important personality, I'd like to like for you to drop down into the des description below, find the links to Jason Bay's Wasted Lands Kickstarter, and if you don't really want to, you don't, you know, you want to get something for yourself or for someone else, back that Kickstarter. That's a really good game. It's a good D&D alternative. And uh, the system is completely customizable. No two players will ever play it the same. No two tables will ever play it the same. All right. So, let's get down to it. What do we need to know for the upcoming week? Start with us. We've got Loki. Now, I know some people are looking at Loki going, Oh, no, but believe me when I say, this is, this is a good message to take a little more of a lighthearted approach. Learn to laugh, both at yourself and you know, at the situation. The situation is probably going to seem pretty dire, but let me tell you something. Life, laughing beats crying. Lifing. Yep, lifing is hard. <laughs> it's harder when you don't have anything to laugh at. So learn to laugh. Live a little, also. Stop taking everything so seriously. It's not going to work out if you do. You're just going to stress yourself into a very early grave or into a nervous breakdown and guess what? You're overtaxing yourself again, right? You're going to have to start taking things a little lighter because guess what? Life is short. Time is everything. And the thing that you got to ask yourself is this. It comes down to a choice. Spend your life miserable or spend your life with some kind of happiness in there. I learned this a long time ago. It doesn't matter which side is issuing the purity test. All the purity test is designed to do is to make you as miserable as they are. It doesn't matter which side they're doing. They're doing the exact same thing. They're just wearing different t-shirts. That is it. It has to be up to you to break away completely from that. If, that's, if you're given the ultimatum, if you do this, you're one of them. If you do that, you're one of them. Tell them both to go to hell. You know, you only have two middle fingers, they're just going to have to share. Simple as that. Alright? This is about you doing you. You are the only person you could do anything about. Your situation is the only thing you could do anything about. You can't do anything about either side. Plain and simple. If it's not enough for someone, do nothing. Especially if you've been the one to go to the wall constantly. You deserve to be happy at some point in your life. You know, I said this to a friend uh, last night. I said, you know, we've all been there. We've all been there to where, yeah, our lives would be great if it weren't for that, uh, that difficulty or that hurdle. But, and we haven't all been in the same spot. But we have, we have these uh, divergent backgrounds, and they all kind of converged into one place where we all met each other. Now you know when you're going through shit, you remember all those names, and you realize you're not going through it alone. You can always fall on somebody for some similar experience somewhere. Ask them how they handled it. Right? Trust me, you'll get a few more tools. Let's look at nature for a minute. You know, it really only takes one white raven to really just uh, prove they exist. And here it is. It's going to exist for you. 
And while it does tell us to trust in the magic, I have to caution you a little bit because it's a process. Everything has to have a pattern of events happening. This doesn't just happen overnight. We all know that. You don't walk into a job just knowing everything you need to do and just jump right in, right? You have to train. You have to get certain things down. Understand what's going on. Because if you understand it, then you know what you got to do. You got you know how to manage your time. You know how to manage the pit, your circle, right? But it's a process, and it takes time. And as time goes on, it builds. You got that little pebble. You throw you throw it off the summit of a mountain. That pebble is going to merge with the snow and whatever else it tends to run into. It builds, it builds, it builds until it's a friggin' avalanche. And at that point, it's at its most powerful. That's your magic, but you're gonna have a little. You're gonna have to have a little patience and a little faith in the process. Let's look at you mentally. Well, we got an eight of coins in reverse. We got a chariot in reverse, and we got strength in reverse. I mean, I get it. We're all feeling a little beat down. We're all thinking. We're all kind of looking at it with a mindset that isn't helping us move forward but really this is bad while this is bad news it can easily be just the opposite because if you're not going to put in the work if you're not going to initiate that forward movement you're going to look back on this as a very very weak moment and you're going to beat yourself up about it. And you're going to say, man, I could have done that differently. Yeah, you could have. Or, because let me put it to you this way. You're not letting me down. I don't know I don't know your situation. I don't know what's going on with you. But you're going to let yourself down. And that's something you can't live with, is it? And I'd be willing to bet right now, you watching this, you know good and well I want you to think back on all the times. Think of the most recent one. The one time you let yourself down. You quit just before the finish line. I bet you're beating yourself up over it right now. And the fact is you don't have to. And I bet you wish you could go back and change time. But you can't. You can change this right now, though, and I would suggest you do it. Physically speaking, we got a star in reverse. We, oh, five of coins in reverse, and we've got the five of swords. There is a lot of loss here. Right now, you're feeling that whole. This is this is the time where you're not. You're not. You're not showing yourself. You're not showing what you're, you know, you know your potential. You know what you're worth, but you're not going out and getting it. And this shows me you're not really being good to yourself because right now you're feeling left out in the cold. But this, this is not someone shutting you out. This is no one excluding you. This is you excluding yourself. Is that helping you? Because right here, and this is the way you're looking at it right now. You know, I'm carrying all these swords. You can't carry the, the one that each of you have. You know you're master of this field. You know that this is this is your this is where you thrive. And you know that and you're still not moving and I wonder why. We're getting we're still getting hard doses of the truth here. This one is aimed right at us. Spiritually speaking, we've got justice, we've got the Ten of Swords, and I've got a Page of Wands here. So getting back to that spirituality, are you kind of forsaking it for all else? Because this is where the justice scales come in. You really do need that balance of mental, spiritual, and physical. You need it all together. You get it all together, your entire mindset changes, and you move. You know what to do, you know how to attack this problem. 
you don't need anything else because right now you're already liberated from from all the all the nonsense and the bullshit you've already seen past it and your past betrayals you can see you know when someone's bullshitting you you know exactly when someone's uh, you know blowing smoke up your ass even without the good news here even without that it's can can you get yourself together I think you can because of course this is you we're talking about this is me we're talking about I mean look at our situ look at our look at your situation I can look at mine and tell you right now that if you've got that indecision instability comes with it so your your indecisiveness right now is going to disrupt your your stability whatever stability you bring up here can be negated can you do something about that yes you can absolutely do something about it doesn't have to be grandiose but it, you gotta do something especially if you're dragging yourself down right now look at what you have in front of you remember I told you last video do that uh, do that gratitude exercise doesn't matter how small the item pick that item up look at it and remember why you're thankful for it then do it again then do it again do it again do it every day you start building the gratitude you'll lose the attitude right okay so in the mind right now we do have a knight telling you to be brave and honest let me tell you something right now some of us need to be speaking some pretty hard truths to various sides that are throwing down their their purity tests and their ultimatums you need to throw it down. Throw it down like this. Hey, you don't have to like what I did, but I did it, and I don't expect your uh, I don't expect your approval or your consent or your and I really did seek your permission. Those are people that are not willing to understand where you're coming from. You don't need their influence. Trust and believe in that. All right, physically speaking, right here in the physical, learn from those spiritual experiences. I know you've had them recently, so why why not? It's not enough to just learn from them. You have to be able to apply them. So look at what was practical. Look at what was grounded. You know what? You don't have to believe as I do, but if you go back and look through the Hava Mall and read that, I guarantee you, you're going to find some really grounded points of information. Even if we're theologically different, you'll find some agreement there. Serious. Check it out. Here we go. We got your traveler. Classic or new. Time to take a new direction. It's important to know where you've been. It's important to know where you are, and that way you know where you're going. Now, for the mind, we're just going to kind of turn all three of these over. All your runes right here. Wow. Othala coming up. Remember when I said go to those others who have been there. Trust them. Listen to them. Even the horror stories. There's something in a horror story. I actually listened to uh, something yesterday. I can't remember exactly who, it, oh, it was uh, J.D. DeLay, if you haven't checked out his channel, do. It was a short where he said, uh, uh, someone asked him, what was your favorite fight in prison? He said, it's the one I lost. He was fighting a smaller guy, and the guy rung his bell. And they, they went to the knuckle over it. They walked away. He lost that fight. But he said, you know, our greatest failures our greatest teachers at times. I've heard it also said, um, wisdom comes from experience, and experience comes from poor judgment. 
want to know where true wisdom comes from? Learning from the poor judgment and experience of others saves you the trouble of having to make that mistake. Algies, and this is some serious protection here. The sum total of your experience right now does offer you some protection. Here's the thing. If your shield is all that anyone ever sees, they're going to attack it constantly. That's what you have to do. The shield is just there to establish a defensive measure. It's not there to be your everything. Understand? I hope so. Because we are moving on. Some people really need to get this. This uh, Ingus or Ingvaz. One stone does nothing. One stone is one stone. One stone can be picked up and thrown. But when combined together with others, they form an impenetrable wall. No one's an island. And that's why you need to rely on those with experience who came before you. The ones going through it right now. Understand you're all stronger together. Sure, you've been building yourself up. You've been taking care of yourself. And that's what you need to do. You take care of yourself, then each other, and then you bring it out. It's a spiral pattern ever widening. You, your family, extended family, community, neighbors, so on and so forth. And if you've got that strength, then no one can stop you, can they? I'm not arguing for collectivism by any stretch, but I am telling you, sometimes it's good to kind of band together. Sometimes there are strength in numbers. And sometimes you need to take advantage of that. Sometimes you need that extra bit of experience without having to go through it yourself. You'll save yourself a lot of time. But understand, take that light-hearted approach. Even though the horror stories can teach you something. Even your own. And if you learn to laugh, you'll remember things a lot more clearly. I'm always trying to remember jokes. I'm never trying to remember traumas. Just saying. Alright. Alright, so, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up and get this out to you. Just remember, if you're here right now, I want you to know this because I don't think I get to say it enough. Definitely don't get to as much these days, but I love you all. I want you to take care of yourselves and each other. Always do what lights you up, and if something doesn't light you up, light it up yourself. Because as always... My biggest piece of advice to you, shine on.